Welcome back to the comment section. I'm Brett Cooper. I have huge news. Huge. This is very exciting. Somebody that I talked about a lot last year is back on the scene, and I am so excited about this. Now, last weekend was CinemaCon, and the trailer for Aquaman 2 was unveiled during the conference, and people were waiting with bated breath to see if a specific actress would make an appearance, and she did. Amber Heard is back. <laughs> Amber Turd, I should say. Before we talk about that, though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. And while we are talking about announcements, I have an announcement because my one year anniversary poster will be back in the store. We've updated it, so it's not saying one year anniversary, it just says comment section. And yes, I have signed all of them. I gave myself Carpal Tunnel just for you guys, but they will be live with this episode. You can kind of see it behind me over here, behind the chair. So if you want to get a poster if you weren't able to get one during the one year anniversary sale now is your time Alrighty, so here is one of the many announcements from social media from last week amber heard will officially return as mara in the upcoming movie aquaman and the lost kingdom here's a photo of her look at this 40.2 million views and that's just one of the posts like this got a lot of attention i wish i had the trailer and i was trying to search for it and see if i could even find a leaked version it is still under industry wrap they only showed it at cinemacon so we will just have to read the comments today which is never a problem in my book. But this is what Daily Loud said during an exclusive presentation to CinemaCon audience members. Warner Brothers released the first trailer for DC's Aquaman of the Lost Kingdom, aka Aquaman 2. The sequel starring Jason Momoa as the underwater superhero also sees Amber Heard's character Mera make a brief cameo according to reports from the festival. Heard's role in the sequel came under question during her high-profile defamation trial with ex-husband Johnny Depp last year. Deadline reported that Heard does have a cameo in the trailer, but in a battle scene. This all confirms that Amber will play a role in the sequel. Thoughts on this? Now, other than the many Amber Heard Brazil fan accounts and the angry feminists online. No one liked this. Also, speaking of the Amber Heard fan accounts, when the trial was going on, she literally limited comments from everyone except her fan accounts. How convenient is that? Wow. And she was only following her own fan accounts. So all of the like positive traction on Twitter on her posts during the trial was just her like random fan accounts from across the world that had no idea what was going on. And then like the random like pink haired lady that was like, yeah, me too, me too. And everybody like doesn't care what she thinks. Anyway, one of the comments read the double standard is wild. If it was the other way around, there would be no way the industry would allow Johnny a man to return. They would have canceled his whole career. I mean, they basically already have like take Fantastic Beasts. He had already finished filming just like Amber Heard had already finished filming this movie and they still replaced him and took him out. That's messed up. Before the trial had even started, when it was just accusations and she's still in this movie. Like, make it make sense. Somebody else said, at first I decided I wouldn't watch her movies, but then I realized she probably needs to make more money to pay Johnny Depp so I can support that. But she is not wrong. I saw another comment that was like, this is like a charity case because Johnny Depp needs money. So if you want to rationalize going and seeing Aquaman 2, that's how you can do it. Even though I don't know why anybody would want to go see Aquaman 2. Like, with all the DC movies that I have not seen, Aquaman falls like lowest on the totem pole. Like what is going on? An underwater superhero seems weird. Just watch the new like race swapped a little mermaid. No. Hard pass. Somebody else said they're like some time went by. People will probably be okay with this now. They weren't. The comments were not positive at all. Somebody else said, only in Hollywood, a woman can abuse a man repeatedly, have audio evidence admitting to physical abuse, tell the person you abused no one would believe that she's an abuser, remain an ACLU ambassador for domestic abuse, not be sorry, still claim to be the victim, and keep a job. Is that a problem? And people have the audacity to claim that women are oppressed and have no rights in 2023. This proves them wrong. She is awful objectively terrible. We spent a month of our time last year listening to this woman act like a psychopath and accuse Johnny Depp of things that he did not do. Obviously, Johnny Depp is not perfect. We know that, but this is insane. And she's now like gallivanting around Spain, trying to live a private life and get her career back on track. It's absurd. Somebody else said, I think it's safe to say that the entire Justice League is going to end up getting recast after the mess of Batman versus Superman and the shenanigans of Ezra Miller and Amber Heard. I mean, we should have known that she wasn't getting recast because they kept Ezra Miller. Like these two people deserve to be in a movie together. Actually, they don't. They deserve to be in a movie that never sees the light of day. But either way, DC really has not had the best luck with actors recently, or maybe Hollywood is just going off the rails. Most industries are going off the rails, though, much like agriculture, which is why you need good ranchers. 
We all go to the grocery store, so I'm sure you can tell that meat prices continue to rise. They're now trying to vaccinate our cows with mRNA vaccines, and most of that American overpriced meat that you see at the grocery store is actually flown in from overseas. And that's why you need to change the way that you buy meat. And Good Ranchers is here to help. Now, I'm not sure what your favorite steak is, but mine is literally every steak I get in my Good Rancher subscription. Every cut is sourced from local American farms, not sent from overseas, hand cut, trimmed, and aged to perfection. They have ribeyes, New York strips, all natural burgers, and the most delicious chicken you could ever want. Plus, Good Ranchers is also committed to giving you inflation-proof meat that you can count on. Right now, they are offering a price lock guarantee for the next two years. Imagine if you could have locked in your price two years ago. You would have saved hundreds of dollars. Whether you're planning a backyard barbecue, a family picnic, a beachside cookout, Good Ranchers has you covered with honest, transparent products that deliver on quality, price, and flavor. And this is the perfect time to change the way that you buy meat. So go to GoodRanchers.com and use my code Cooper for $30 off any box. Again, that's promo code Cooper at GoodRanchers.com. So the sentiment about Amber Heard is basically the same on TikTok. When I was searching her name, trying to see if anybody was posting about it, I was just finding clips from the trial. So I did spend like an hour last night just revisiting it because it was very, very fun. But anyway, here's a video about it. And again, we'll read the comments because nobody's happy. Amber Heard has officially been confirmed to be in the next Aquaman movie. So Warner Brothers just released a trailer for the new Aquaman movie at CinemaCon. Well, during this trailer, Amber Heard made a brief cameo. Now people are very, very <laughs> upset. On Twitter, people are basically calling this out as a complete double True. standard. And last year, over 4.6 million people signed a petition to have Amber removed from the movie. So the fact that Warner Brothers decided to keep her in the movie has fans feeling extremely disrespected. Now, it should be noted that her scenes were filmed before the entire Johnny Depp trial started. But what do you guys think? Again, yes, I get that it was all filmed beforehand. But like we said, that happened to Johnny and they took him out of the movie. It's the same thing with Ezra Miller, though. I think DC just has different standards for who they're keeping in their films. Somebody said they had finished filming Johnny Depp's scenes in Fantastic Beasts and they still booted him. I'm sorry to say I'm mad at this. Somebody else said this is what they call equality. You're not oppressed, women. In 2023, you are not oppressed. You can me to a man, go to court, get proven that you're wrong, that you are actually defaming him and still keep your career. It is asinine. There's another one. Johnny was booted from Fantastic Beast franchise because of the case between him and Amber. She should have lost her role too, again. And like that TikToker said, if you don't remember, a year ago during the trial, somebody started this petition to have Amber removed from Aquaman 2 because they already knew that she had finished filming so nobody wanted to see her in this movie. Again, I don't know why everybody is so pressed about Aquaman 2 because literally I didn't even know that it was a thing. But I think it's more about the principle of not having her in this movie. But last year it had like 2 million, 3 million signatures. Now it has like 5 million. Granted, by the time the trial was taking place, Amber was already alleging that her role in the franchise and in that movie specifically had already been significantly reduced. This was noted in a recent piece from Insider. They said during her defamation trial with her former husband, Johnny Depp, Heard said that her role was heavily reduced in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom. Quote, I fought very hard to stay in the movie. They didn't want to include me in the film. Heard said on the stand, adding that she performed a very pared down version of the role and they took away action scenes between between herself and another character. Maybe this is, you know, punishment enough in DC and Warner Brothers' eyes, but obviously it's not enough for anybody in the public or anybody who watched that trial go down and knows what kind of person she actually is. Obviously, they're trying to save face, they're trying to save money, they're trying to keep the franchise going. So maybe it's good that they just cut down the role. I don't know, I'm not there to make business decisions. I'm just here to tell you guys that people online are very angry. And guys, in my opinion, this anger and this feeling of being disrespected by DC is warranted, especially because this announcement that she was staying in Aquaman 2 happened exactly a year from the day that we heard this on the stand. I mean, you can please tell people that it was a fair fight and see what the, ju see what the jury and judge thinks. Tell the world, Johnny. Tell them Johnny Depp. I, Johnny Depp, Man, I'm, I'm a victim too of domestic violence, and yes. I, you know, it's a fair fight. It sees how many people believe or side with you. God, just watching that gets me amped up again, because watching her face throughout that entire trial, that, mm, mm, so sad, oh, this is, like, it's all a game. It was all an act. She was gaslighting him then, she was gaslighting him during the trial, literally taunting this man saying, nobody will believe you. Go try, go try to prove that you're innocent. Nobody will because I'm a woman, because they will prefer me. And I love that it did not go in her favor because that arrogance and that kind of behavior, it's disgusting. Like when women do that, it's, <laughs> there's no other way to say it other than it's literally the worst. Hate it, hate it hate it. Now, obviously, Johnny Depp has his flaws. I mentioned that earlier. We know he has an alcohol problem. He's not a perfect man by any means, but this woman 
ruined his career. She deserves to suffer the consequences for literally shattering his entire life and for undermining and exploiting the Me Too movement because that is what she did. She used her power as a celebrity, as an ACLU ambassador, wrote this hit piece about her ex wanting to take him down thinking that she was untouchable, but she's not. Women think that they have this kind of weird superiority because they're, you know, fake oppressed in 2023. You do not. You are not untouchable. You have to suffer the consequences as well. You also have to be held accountable. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video, and of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.